Hey guys, just want to do a little review for this watt meter that I have. It's a high precision watt meter and power analyzer. It's 150 amps, what it says. I don't think it'll do that much. But so far, it seems to be working pretty good. On the top left there, it'll tell you your amps. Of course, it's it's early morning. The sun's not even on the panel yet, so I don't have any any power going in really. But the top left is your amperage coming in. The bottom right is the wattage coming in. And the top right is the voltage of my batteries. Now, it does a pretty good job. It, it, it'll tell me pretty close what the voltage of my batteries are. And over on the bottom left, it'll cycle through and it just gives you a lot of information. WH was watt hours. I'm trying to keep the glare off there for you. AP is uh, amps peak, WP is watts peak, watt hours, volts max, amp hours, amp hours. Sometimes this is the thing, the only thing that I see with this little watt meter, the amp hours for some reason after it goes so far, see how it says like a 5.5 .5 or something, it resets and does something goofy. So it doesn't tell you accurately the whole time what it is. Cause that's not right i've had this hooked up for uh probably a couple of days now so let's see here we'll give you a little information that one's wrong amp peak so that was 7.4 amps so what that means is at one point my 100 watt solar energy solar panel brought in 7.4 amps which is really good Okay, let's see. Sand peak, watt peak. So watt peak was 103. So that means my 100 watt panel brought in 103 watts maximum so far since I've had this little meter hooked up. Volts max or minimum. That's minimum. Sorry. Okay, well, that's what it is. It 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 works pretty good. It uh. It does its job. It's a little tricky to hook up, and uh, if you ever hook one of these up, I didn't put a, a toggle switch in it, or uh, not a toggle switch. My bad. Like a uh, breaker or something to to cut the power off from the battery. So that would be something that I suggest because this thing keeps track of everything, you know, as long as it's got power. So like mine's wired directly up to my batteries. So I've got no way of resetting this unless I unhook it from the batteries, which is a pain in the butt. But I would suggest doing that. That way, if you wanna if you wanna monitor every day what you're doing and stuff. But that'd be about it. They're they're good little meters. This one I think was 15 bucks off of Amazon. They were pretty cheap. All right, guys. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.